you know, we've all read what happened, but I'd like to have you kind of walk us through the, just kind of a step-by-step what exactly happened to you. She uh, called an Uber. She was still in her apartment when she called the Uber. And she was going to go watch a movie at the ball. And she went downstairs to wait for the Uber for the car to arrive. So she went outside. She looked around. She didn't see anyone coming by. So she just sat down there on the curb right next to a tree. She heard a few steps. She, she thought that she, somebody was walking up to her to just grab her phone and run. And then all of a sudden, he sat down next to her and, and asked her what time it was. And she said, yeah, it's eight something, it's eight o'clock. And then she noticed he wasn't going to leave. So she went and she tucked her phone on her, on her pants, on her, on her belt. So when he noticed that she was putting her phone away, he right away, he grabbed his pretend gun and, uh, and said, hey, I have a gun. Give me your cell phone. Now. I've got a gun. She said that right when he said, hey, I have a gun, that she noticed that the, the gun was somehow squishy, that, they, that he bent it when he touched it. And she's like, you know what? That's, that's not a real gun. So she got up and she threw two hooks and uh, the poison douche goes out. So after she threw a right hook, he kind of bent down. She thought that he was going to try to defend it or something, but it was a knockdown in her words. And after that, she just threw a kick to his face and that's the damage that we all saw in the pictures. Was he saying anything to you? Stop, please don't hurt me. She said that after she threw that kick that she nearly sat where he was and grabbed him in a, in a rear naked choke and he tried to hip escape a little bit but she was afraid that he had a, a knife or anything that could hurt her so you know she, she didn't want to lose that position. Now you beat him up pretty badly Pollyanna. What do you think should happen to him legally? Should he go to jail? What should his punishment be for what he did to you? He has the record so she thinks that he, he should go to jail. You know, he'd already had two uh, times with the police for uh, for robbing with uh, with the weapon so it's not his first uh, his first outing